Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 was when Kennedy faced off with Premier Khrushchev of the Soviet Union. See, back in 59, Cuba's Revolutionary War made it a tiny communist country right near the U.S. shore. That same year, the U.S. made a deal with Turkey's leaders to put U.S. nukes in Turkey to fire at Russia if needed. Flash forward to October 1962 again. Soviet nukes are found in Cuba like ours in Turkey right near them. The U.S. Joint Chiefs told JFK this was a good occasion to get rid of Cuba's government with a big U.S. invasion. But JFK said no because those nukes were awfully frightening. If we struck Cuba, Russia might think attacking us would be the right thing. It could lead to nuclear war, and of all outcomes, that's the worst. So JFK said before invading, let's try something else first. So one night on TV, he announced the plan he'd made. He'd stop Soviet shipments to Cuba with a strict naval blockade. But Khrushchev of the Soviets said this was risking war. You can't just stop our ships, he said. The blockade will be ignored. And when the U.S. got this message the night of October 23, defense went up to DEFCON 2, the highest nuke alert in history. This meant the U.S. was just one step from launching nuclear weapons, and as the blockade began stopping boats, no one knew what would happen. But then a KGB agent named Foman in the States said, let's just try a peaceful trade before this escalates. Foman said if the U.S. promised to leave Cuba alone, maybe then the Soviets could promise to take the defensive missiles home. Then Khrushchev tried a different deal to make a missile recall work. He said the U.S. should leave Cuba B and take their nukes out of Turkey. So JFK agreed to never invade Cuba and he secretly also agreed to take the nukes off Turkish land. That part was kept a secret, so Kennedy could still look tough, but the fact was that both leaders thought things had gone quite far enough. Kennedy died 63, Khrushchev lost power 64, and that was the closest the world has ever come yet to a nuclear war.